what we're seeing right now is the um, the consequences of the current violent climate of winner takes all politics in Egypt, a feeling on both sides that unless they s stick to their positions, unless they push as hard as they can uh, against the other side, they, they potentially risk losing everything. On one side, the people supporting the, um, the, the army's move to oust President Morsi felt that they were losing the country, that it was becoming something they didn't want. Muslim Brotherhood, since 1928, have been trying to take power in Egypt, and they succeeded in an election a year ago, and it got taken away from them. So they also feel that unless they stick to what they're doing, then they won't have a chance in the future. So the middle ground in terms of trying to get some kind of an agreement about a joint way forward here, some national consensus, doesn't really exist at the moment. At a time as well when uh, jihadism is, uh, you know, a very big part of what's happening in the region, the worry has to be that, that even, you know, you can speak to plenty of Muslim Brotherhood supporters who are very reasonable, who abhor violence, and you can also, though, think of religious extremists who might decide to jump on this particular bandwagon and try and do the kinds of things that they were doing in Egypt in the 1990s, uh, involving a lot of violence, bombs, and in some cases, uh, outright massacres.